No, I'm uh, David McLaughlin, farming here in Greencastle. I've two flocks of yews, I've 250 hill yews, and I have 100, 110 lowland yews, and I keep about 17 suckler cows. You need to be watching what you're doing. Uh, like I have coped the bike in the hull myself before, but I was watching the sheep, not watching where it was going. Um, the, I, I should have been watching the ground. If you're in rough ground, you know, you need to be up and down and moving about. Like, if you're going uphill, you'll need to be standing up, leaning over the handlebars. Mm. Where if you're going downhill, sit well back in the seat. Mm. With the bike, it's two or four wheel drive. She's in two wheel drive most of the time. Mm. Usually when I go on the gate, I put her in four wheel drive and you're not, you're not caught out that you're thinking she's in four wheel drive and you're, yeah. then you're caught out. Like, once your tyres go down below 50%, you don't have the same traction at all. Like, down below the road, there's places you can go and you're close to the cliff. You don't want her slipping with you there, like, you know, so. Well, the underpin suspension is far more stable, uh, especially if you're going across the hull. Your bike will sit leveller, you know. Like, if you're going across and there's a hole, whatever wheel goes into the hole, the suspension drops her down onto it. Whereas, if you had the single shock on the back, yeah. she would fall onto that hole. The duff locks, uh, that was a great invention on the quads. Well, if you're in a sticky spot, at a lock of four wheels. So the wheel that's stuck has to go as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's the, the duff locks, a great job there. Well, I wouldn't go to gather the hull if it was going to be dark in half an hour. Uh, I know it's easy saying it, but uh, if you don't get it done the day, it should have been another day. Now.